intimacy, if we're going to have intimacy with God, if you're going to know Jesus, if you're really going to know his spirit, if you're going to know his voice, we're talking about being obedient to his voice. You can't be obedient to God's voice if you don't know his voice. But in order that to happen is that you have to submit your heart to him. You have to take, the scripture says, it says that if you take one step forward to God, it says draw closer to God and God will draw closer to you. Meaning if you just take one step close to God, you may not know what you're doing. You may not know how to read this Bible. You, 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 you may not know how to pray. You may not know anything, but it's not about that. It's about your heart. If in your heart you say, God, I'm taking one step closer towards you, God responds and he takes five steps closer to you. You cannot outrun God. You cannot draw closer than God wants to draw close to you. He's just waiting for you to take the first step because he's a gentleman. He's not going to force his way on your life. And so he is waiting. The scripture says in Revelations that he is knocking on the door of your heart, and he wants to come in. And the thing about it is, is that you see many of us hear God knocking on the door of our heart. But the next step after that is that we actually have to open the door and let him in. But the reason why, and I see in the spirit, that we're not opening the door to let Jesus in is because our room is dirty. We're afraid to allow Jesus to come into our life and see the mess in our heart and see the mess in our life. And the real thing is that we don't want to allow Jesus to come into our life because if he does come into our life, that means we got to clean up the mess. And we really don't want that to happen. So we're going to keep Jesus, you know, outside of the door of my heart. I hear you knocking. I, I, I hear you in church. I, I, I love you too. But you can't come into here because I'm not ready to let this go. This is still my room. It's still my mess. It's still my issues. This is what makes me feel safe. This is my comfort zone. This is where I go to when I'm feeling bad, when I'm depressed. This is what I pick up. This is what I use. This is what I like to smoke. This is what I like to eat. This is who I like to get with. This is my situation. This is the channel that I turn to when no one is around. This is the website that I get on when I'm stressed out. This is my stuff. And although I hear you and I love you, God, you can't come in here. And we think that Jesus is going to come in into the room of your heart and say, clean up this, change this, take this out, like, like we're at home with our parents again. <laughs> Getting back memories. Make up your bed. Da, da, da. We think Jesus is going to do that to us. So, because we feel like we're not ready for that, we're just going to keep him out here. When the whole time Jesus wants to come in, he wants to come in into your room and your heart, see all your stuff on the floor, and not look at any of it. The only one he's going to look at is you. He wants to come into your heart, not judge you, not point anything out. The only thing he wants to do is come into your room and give you a hug. And say, this is what I've been trying to do this entire time. I've been trying to get my arms around you. I've, I've just been trying to put my grace around you. And then what happens is, is that as you're sitting with Jesus and he's not even bringing up your mess, he's not even bringing up your issues, he's not saying anything. What happens is, is that because you receive a love that you've never received before in your life, his love comes into your heart and changes you. And you voluntarily say, I'm cleaning this up. I don't even want this. this what is this? this? I'm tearing this down. Da, 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 da. You start painting the room, playing worship music in the room. Because you just had an encounter with the love of God. Yeah. 